Hello, welcome to Brockle Lane, and here we have a um, box from China, which is quite heavy and sturdy, actually, I'm quite surprised about that. Uh, this cost me £85, and it was from eBay, uh, so let's get this opened. Okay, well that's a bit of a surprise, uh, no wonder the nice sturdy boxes. Um, we seem to have got two Artitech DDM1 sets, Netherlands Railways. I mean, this is not actually what I've ordered. Uh, but I think that's just <laughs> just a box that they've used, which is very nice actually, I'm going to keep these. But what we've got inside is actually what I have ordered, which is, which you might have seen before, because Sam Trains did uh, a review on these, um, cheap Continental Star Wagons from EVE model. So I've ordered nine in total, um, I bought um, three sets of three. Um, and they, they work out at about £10 a wagon. Um, they come in various different colours. Um, I went for the ready brown ones because I thought they might look a little bit, um, well, a little bit British in a way, I suppose, uh, which is my plan to try and convert them into British wagons. They're not going to be 100% accurate, um, but I think nine of these beyond a class 60 weathered up will look pretty good. As far as I know, you can only get these direct from the manufacturer, Eve model. They're not available in the shops, to my knowledge. Um, which um, I was a little bit worried about, to be honest, because I didn't think the quality would be very good. But um, it doesn't matter too much for the price. Um, there's maybe a clue of uh, the, the factory um, they use. I bet they also produce, produce those uh, Artitech models. Although I must admit, I've not heard of them. I'll keep those boxes for something later on. They're really nice boxes, actually. So let's get this uh, opened up and see what they look like. So fairly regular packaging. I mean, it's cheap but uh, effective. The two bits of clear plastic sandwiched together and the wagon between. And then the cardboard outside box. Kind of like Oxford Rail. Not the best, but it's sufficient. I don't really care about that. And you do get these details inside. A lot of handrails, a um, couple of wheels, brake wheels to put on there as well. And they seem actually surprisingly good. I was expecting them to be really flimsy, they're not. There's no decals on them. That doesn't bother me too much because I can maybe find some British ones to fit on there. Um, they are they are of a, a continental design. I'm not exactly sure what country. Um, but I thought uh, they were a good cheap way of getting a modern looking train to put behind a 66 or a 60, something like that, and run at the club. Uh, they do have these continental couplers. They do come out though, so I can put KDs or tension locks in. Metal wheels, of course, as well. Pretty good, actually. Um, so I'm not, it's not really a full review, because if you want one of those, Sam's Trains did a very good one. I'm going to put my spin on it, and as my thing is weathering and detailing, I'm going to see what I can do with these wagons. Um, I look at a, I'm looking at these models more, what I can do with them, rather than just running them out of the box. So I'll get those detailed up and uh, see what they look like. So I've just got them all out of the box, just checking for any defects. I haven't found any yet, apart from one, and it's that one there that is missing a detail pack. Which is a little disappointing, but I have a big box of spares. I never throw anything away. I've been modern for years, so maybe I can find at least some brake wheels or something. Um, but I'm still not too disappointed. I'm still uh, really impressed with the quality of them. Um, not what I expected. So these are what are available, the different colours. Um, there's a nice yellow one, which I suggest maybe you could get some transfers. Uh, put network rail somewhere like right there. Uh, this look pretty good. There's also a green one, which um, freight liner. Uh, there's a grey one, which looks, um, you know, pretty much like that brown one I've got uh, for BR or private owner or something like that. Uh, that's the one I've got. Uh, there it is again. There's also, I think, a red one as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's a nice red one there, which, um, you know, DB logos, train of them, look pretty good behind the 66. 
Uh, blue one, probably a bit light for DRS or GBRF, but again, private owner. This is how I apply the uh, the details, the plastic handrails. A uh, big blob of um, PVA wood glue on a bit of plastic there, and you just dip it in with some pliers, or a, in this case I've got some clippers. Great big sticky um, bit on the bottom there, and put that into the holes, and because it's PVA, it, um, it shrinks away and it dries clear. And um, if you get any of the glue on the side of the body, you can either wet it and wipe it off, and even or let it dry and uh, take it off with your fingernail. It doesn't make a mess, unlike normal uh, glues, stringy type glues. There you go. I might look a bit of a mess at the moment, but that white uh, glue will shrink away and go clear. Uh, it's just normal PVA, cheapo stuff. Uh, this happens to be. The sort from uh, Wilco's. I mean, there are some t sorts of PVA I've found which don't go clear, uh, but just experiment first. And it's really good for putting um, pipes on diesels as well, and I also use them for nameplates. It just it seems removable once it's on, um, even if it's dried. Um, just a great product to use really for these things. Good thing is I've got loads left over, so I've got enough handrails to put on that one that didn't come with them. The only thing I haven't got is the brake wheels, but I think I'll be able to find some to put on that. Ah, look what I've found. Uh, from a Helgen BOC tank, which I bought from um, Hattons the other day. Sold out quick, because we're only £45, down from 75 in the sale. Um, but they have these wheels fitted to them. And there's a couple of extra ones in the bag there, so I'm going to have them out and use them on uh, these EVE models. Or well, that one that uh, was missing them. There we go, different colour but pretty close match. I don't think you'll notice. I'll probably paint these yellow ones white anyway. Yeah, that's what they came off the BLC tanks, which are lovely models, but unfortunately sold out now it happens. As I expected, they would do at um, uh, nearly half the price. So whilst they're drying, I think what I will do is try and find some paint which matches this this sort of bauxite livery, which is kind of similar to BR livery, and uh, paint all these black handrails the uh, the body colour. Um, that'll help disguise the size of them, because they're a little bit overscale, but once they're painted body colour, I think they'll, uh, they'll blend in quite nicely and look uh, more to scale. Well, I've roughly painted the handrails in a as close as I, I could find, really. It's not exactly the same colour, but it's not going to matter too much because they're going to get weathered anyway. And I've also painted all the uh, the little um, wheels white instead of uh, instead of the yellow because I think they look a little bit more British. Got a bit of paint on the body there, but I'm not going to worry too much about that because they're going to be weathered over the top. The next thing that stands out to me that needs to uh, change is the inside of the wagons. I think that should be... Well, if they were another colour, I'd probably do them a rust colour. Um, but as these are already a bit of a rust colour, I'm probably going to do them in a dark uh, grey-brown sludgy colour. And I've got some mixed up. It's my usual paint I use for weathering under frames and things. Uh, it's a bit of a mix, but I think there's enough in there to do all those. Um, so we'll see what that looks like. So I've got half of them painted inside with this uh, grey-brown colour. And I think you can tell the difference between the two. Um, they still look quite toy-like. Uh, whereas these are really starting to look more like uh, scale models. So I'll continue and finish those off. So I've just started weathering and I'm starting with the wheels, the wheel faces. And I'm just mixing two sort of browns together, a dark brown and a light tan brown, uh, together with some white spirit. Uh, painting that on the wheels neat. And then I'll do the bogies as well. I've already done these over here. And then I'll be thinning it down and giving the body sides a wash. I have done those, you may not tell, because it's only a thin wash. Uh, but it is sort of um, accumulating around the bottom and around the, um, the doors. Uh, just light uh, weathering for the moment. 
We've got some transfers. Uh, these came in the post this morning. They're from uh, Rail Tech Transfers. And uh, I've chosen a couple of suitable um, transfers, I believe. Um, JNA was the closest type of wagon I could get for the top panel. Um, it's uh, not correct, of course, but close enough. And uh, these Cabe um, Leasing Company logos, which you see around the company quite a lot. I think they're now part of VTG. But I thought uh, those two together would probably look quite good. So I'll um, I'll test do one now. I'll try and get some overhead warning um, transfers as well, which I think I've got somewhere in a box. And I'll get those looked at and I'll do a test wagon. So there we have it. The first wagon pretty much done. Uh, you can see there's the overhead electricity warning labels on either end and also on the those ends as well. And um, that sign I've put to sort of midway. And uh, the JNI top panel on that raised section. And I'm quite happy with the way that looks. That looks like something that would run in the UK, I think. And it certainly looks less plastic than it, than it did when it... Uh, out of the box so I've just got to do the rest now now I may vary the positions of those uh, cave signs um, and I might pick out the axle boxes on one or two wagons in yellow and I might put some loads in at a later date but I think that's a very nice wagon um, for just above ten pound each um, I'm gonna put KD on one end I think a tension lock on the other just so I can run them with um, British stock but I'm really happy with the way that's turned out um, and it was it was a it was a good fun project and um, you know maybe you could come up with some ideas as well um, I'd love to see them so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on Brockwell Lane